Hi, this is Nathaniel from the Neon Exchange, and today we'll be running through the lottery registration process. So the first thing you'll want to do is run through the terms and conditions carefully, making sure you adhere to them and accept them. We won't hit this checkbox yet because we'll have to refresh the page and we'll end up losing that, but we can do that afterwards. So after that, we we'll want to install the next browser extension, which can be done by this button here or by this button here. So I'll go ahead and click that, and it allows me to add the extension to Chrome. So once it's added, click on the icon, read through the disclaimers, make sure you agree with the terms, and then hit this button at the bottom. So if we go back to the lottery registration page and refresh that, the page is now registered that the extension is installed, and all we need to do is log in. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to create a throwaway account, but it's worth mentioning that you can log in with your encrypted key and password if you so wish. So let's create an account. I'll give it a secure color and a unique name. So from this point, I can create a brand new wallet with brand new credentials, or I can import an existing wallet using my private key, my encrypted private key and password, or wallet file. And that is then tethered to this account that you've just created. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to create a brand new wallet. Just put my password in again. And you can now see it's generated a brand new public address, encrypted key, and private key backup code, as well as my username and password. And it's worth mentioning at this point that all of this information is stored locally in your browser, which means if you lose any of it, you'll lose access to your funds. So we highly recommend downloading the text file or copying and pasting all of this information and keeping it in a very secure location. So next, I'll copy and paste the last four characters of the private key backup code, because it's going to ask me that on the next screen. I'll just go ahead and submit that. And now we're logged in. And you can see the page is now registered that we're logged into the next extension. So the next thing to do will be to accept the terms and conditions and create our lottery registration. And for the purpose of this, I'm going to create a fake account that will be picked up and discarded immediately. But just so you can see the whole process, I'll create this lottery registration for you. I'll select a passport. I'll put in the United Kingdom for the issuing country. And we'll just create a randomly generated passport ID. And the final step is to get our NEO address. And because we're logged into the next extension, all you need to do is click on this button and it automatically pre-fills it for you. So if we hit register now, we've been successful. All we need to do now is wait until March 31st when we can log into the account we just created with the next extension and that will let us know if we have been successful to the lottery or not. And that's it guys, good luck.